We have five Japanese holly plants in our backyard. One has a number of branches that have died since it was planted. This is the second one in the same spot to do this. Another plant three feet away, just fine. What could be causing this? And this is from Miss Margie in Germantown. So, Mr. D, let's think about this for a second as you look at the pictures there. Five plants in the backyard, all right? But the second one in the same spot has died again. Do they have a dog? Oh. A male dog? Mm -hmm. Or does it frequent visitors, could that cause that? Possibly. And it, either that or there's a problem with the soil in that one spot. Mm -hmm. I you would know? think yeah. so. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I think about maybe drainage. I, drainage is the first thing that comes to my mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Boxwood, holly shrubs do not like wet feet. Mm -hmm. All right. So drainage could be an issue. So that's the first thing I thought about for a Tothera root rot, okay? Mm -hmm. We have bad drainage, a lot of you know, yeah. water just kind of standing around. The second thing, because you know, we get a lot of questions about boxwoods, of course, you know, at the office. Mm -hmm. It could be decline, boxwood decline. And, and that's, the decline is actually a combination of a lot of different cultural mm -hmm. practices, right? So it could be drainage issues. It could be improper pH. It could be compact soils, but guess what else it could be? It could be too much mulch. Or it could be planted too deep one I just thought about. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it could be a combination of all of those which actually leads to boxwood decline because you get a piece of stem here, you get a branch here, a branch here, and all of a sudden everything yeah. is gone. Yeah, when you look at that multiple areas in the plant yeah. showing, showing yeah. some mm -hmm. death and decline. So mm -hmm. that's why you know, it could be decline. And then you know, we really have to you know, get a piece of it to really see it under a mic you know, microscope. Uh, there's uh, Volutella, you know, blight, but you would know that because you would have those pink spore masses mm -hmm. on those leaves. I've seen that, you know, before in this area, but, you know, again, you, we would need a piece of that to actually see it, but I think it may have something to do with drainage. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, subscribe. We have hundreds of family plot videos for you to view.